it started raining and it would not stop and the ditch like it just overflowed and it just came in the house. A lot of our neighbors across South Louisiana can identify with that, including those in St. James. Water rising fast there and plenty of places in Ascension Parish near Donaldsonville. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Lauren Westbrook. Parts of our viewing area are under a tornado watch and there are flash flood watches and warnings to talk about. We have team coverage from across our viewing area, but let's start with Jeff, uh, excuse me, Jay Grimes in the Nine Storm Center. Well, lots going on all across the area. Watches and warnings, as you just pointed out, you can see the rain still right over the heart of our viewing area, and that is going to continue into the afternoon, the evening, and there's more rain to come over the next couple of days. We've been watching an area in Tangipahoe Parish right near Amite where we had a, a th tornado warning in effect. Now, that has since been canceled, but still a very hefty storm. You can see the flashes of lightning associated with it as well. So lots going on there, even some hail with that storm as it were worked its way off to the northeast at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Now, this is a slightly different depiction of the radar. This is the velocity that kind of gives us a sense of inbound and outbound flow. Now, moments ago, we had a bit of a notch between the green and the red, which is a good indication of tornadic activity. But you'll notice now that notch, uh, for the most part, has really kind of gone away, which means that the storm has lost its rotational potential. But that doesn't mean it's still not a strong storm. Meanwhile, all across South Louisiana, southwestern Mississippi, flash flood watches in effect until 7 p.m. for our viewing area on the west side of the Atchafalaya, and that's 7 p.m. on Thursday now, on the west side of the Atchafalaya, in effect until tomorrow morning at 1 a.m. Then we've got a series of flood warnings in effect all across Acadiana, and flood warnings also into the afternoon for portions of Livingston, Ascension, Assumption uh, Parish, and that's because of the heavy, heavy rains we've seen Diane and I'll show you some of those numbers shortly. And then where we have the red parishes, that's where we've got a tornado that watch in effect until 5 p.m. We've had a number of reports of the potential of tornadic activity. We'll be covering those in terms of storm reports, and Diane will have an update for you there, too. And look at that line, still a well-developed line of strong thunderstorms, and it is all being driven by that upper level low we've been talking about for a couple of days now that is just slowly marching in our direction as long as it's in the vicinity the threat of more heavy rain stays with us more details a little bit later in the newscast now back to lauren at the desk meteorologist jay grimes thank you very much now if you are using the hashtag wafb weather on twitter you may have seen a very powerful photo coming out of saint james parish the paulina matherns that is where we join tiana williams now she is outside of that store tiana what can you tell us good afternoon lauren we are in saint james parish uh, paulina on highway 3125 at the matherne supermarket here and uh, they've had a good bit of uh, flooding here inside the store this morning. They took in about a foot of water. It's kind of gone down significantly since we've been here. You can kind of see on the building behind me where the water line was, and now it's down to about parking lot level. So uh, the good news is things are, are the water is kind of moving out of here, but uh, people here, of course, would like it to move out a little bit faster. Taking a look at some of the video that we shot for you earlier, you can kind of see what the situation was inside the store. The parish president here in uh, in the parish says that uh, things haven't been this bad or he hasn't seen them this bad since sometime in the 80s. He's got a lot of people that are flooded, a lot of businesses and homes that are closer to the river that are without power and uh, have taken in a lot of water. Luckily, though, they have only lost one home in all of this uh, storm here. There was a lightning strike early this morning, about 4 o'clock. That home was a total loss. But uh, they're, they're hoping that things will at least move out or the water will sort of recede before this second wave hits us. It had stopped raining for a little while here, but then it uh, started up again. And now we're just kind of watching it drizzle. So hopefully, like we said, a lot of this will get out of the way before the rest of uh, what's coming heads in. There are sandbags available in the area. Some of the fire stations have those around, so if people are looking for those. Those are available. For now, we're going to send things back to you and kind of continue to monitor the situation from here. Of course, we're going to have the latest for you on later uh, newscasts this evening. Lauren, back to you. And we'll look for those updates. Tiana Williams live for us in St. James Parish. She mentioned sandbags available there. They are also available in Ascension Parish. Graham Mulkins is checking in on Donaldsonville and joins us now. 
Warren, we're here at this Comfort Inn on Highway 70, right at the foot of the Sunshine Bridge in Ascension Parish, just about into Donaldsonville. You can see behind me this Comfort Inn. Uh, the water is kind of just pooled into the uh, bottom of the parking lot right at the entrance uh, to the hotel. So they're actually now trying to move all of the cars, every all the guests that were parked here, they're trying to move those cars to higher ground in anticipation of more rain that's coming uh, today and the next couple of days. So they're worried if the water is already at this level, uh, it's just going to keep going higher. Folks who are staying here say they were surprised. I came outside and it was like, it was raining pretty much sideways. And it really wasn't that bad in the parking lot. But when I came out and went around there, it was at least two feet deep because, you know, I was in like third gear and it was bogging down my truck. So the rain is, seems to have let up uh, a little bit, at least for now. The clouds obviously still overhead, still very dark, but uh, the water level right at the entrance of that hotel, we're told it's about an inch from going into the lobby. So really it's just a waiting game at this point for everyone in the uh, hotel and the hotel staff. They're hoping that the water does not creep into the hotel. There is a sandbag location here in Donaldsonville at the fairgrounds at the ballpark. Uh, so maybe they need to go get a couple of sandbags as well, just in case this water creeps higher. Uh, in Donaldsonville, Graham Olkins, Lauren, back to you. Okay, Graham Wilkins, thank you very much. And if you are in Assumption Parish, the Sheriff's Department there is offering free sandbags to protect your home. Inmates are currently filling those sandbags. At this location, there's a map for you. The Assumption Parish barn on Highway 1008. That's just off of LA-1 behind the Napoleonville Middle School. You can head there if you're in Assumption Parish. We've seen quite a bit of rain here in the capital city. This is Burbank and Nicholson in Baton Rouge by Walk-On. But look at that water rising. There's also high water by the Wind dixie there at Burbank and Lee and along Essen Lane. There's a manhole by the police station downtown, we're told, and, and some folks in Livingston Parish dealing with a sinkhole this morning. So all across our area, just a really tricky situation for, for folks getting out and about today. And high water is forcing some road closures in our area, obviously. So let's head over to Johnny Asian with more on our traffic situation. Way too many roads affected by floodwaters to give you a, a, a detail. Let's start out with some camera shots. We're looking at a lot of DOTD traffic watch cameras. Uh, Everything from the Atchafalaya Basin all the way to the Bonacuri Spillway. We're looking at good flows of traffic on the interstate in and through Baton Rouge. And a little slow moving traffic on the bridge eastbound coming in from the uh, LA-1 on-ramp eastbound into the Baton Rouge area, which is our uh, next camera shot. And you'll see that slowing down, but it's not huge. Flooding all over the area. You heard about St. James and Ascension Parish. We also have flooding here in the Baton Rouge area, North Foster near the Creon Apartments, Wooddale at Tom, Choctaw Airline. The good news is the underpasses on Blue Bonnet and on Acadian are open. Signal light out government at 22nd Street. That's where a 22nd dead ends to government. Treated as a three-way stop in that case. Four-way stop at other intersections where the lights are out. Crashes on 12 West at Sherwood. Comet Drive just past Plank. Greenwell Springs at Oak Villa. Keep up with this between newscast on our social network. Lauren? Okay, Johnny Asian, thank you very much for that traffic update. We've been getting a lot of flood pictures from you. These pictures tell the story today from around our area. This photo from St. James Parish in Lutcher. We're seeing photos from Convent, Gramercy. There's a sinkhole in Walker that you will see here shortly. But these photos all coming in. You can submit them to 9reports at wafb.com or you can just upload it directly there at 9reports.com through our free mobile news app. On Twitter, if you're tweeting today, use the hashtag WAFB weather and as the weather conditions outside change you're going to want to make sure you have that weather app so you can stay informed you can download it for free for your iPhone Android or tablet and you can see up to the minute radar even customize it for your location coming up we're going to check in with parish presidents in Ascension Parish and St. James Parish so don't go anywhere she was just in Baton Rouge speaking to students at LSU last year. And as you'll see in some video we have for you later, we've learned of Dr. Maya Angelou's passing. She was a powerful poet. There she is speaking at LSU in February of 2013. Obviously a huge voice for civil rights and a world-renowned author and playwright. Vanita Nair looks back on the life of the woman who touched generations with her words. God. Put a rainbow. Maya Angelou in turned clouds. pain into poetry. Up from a past rooted in pain, I rise. That was her crystal clear message for nearly half a century, to rise above misery and find hope. That is what Angelo did herself and what led to a life of remarkable accomplishment. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. 
into a daybreak miraculously clear. She grew up poor in Stamps, Arkansas, where at the age of seven, she was raped by her mother's boyfriend. After she testified against him, he was murdered. Angelo blamed herself and stopped talking for five years, a long silence before a life of eloquence. But my grandmother, she'd say, sister, mama don't care what these people say about you being an idiot or you being a moron. Mama don't care. Mama know when you and the good Lord get ready. Sister, you're going to be a preacher. When she found her voice, Angelo went on to learn five languages and travel to Africa, where she met Malcolm X and took on a role in the civil rights movement. She also worked with Martin Luther King Jr. and was devastated when he was assassinated on her 40th birthday. Her most acclaimed work came shortly after. I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings is the story of her childhood. She wrote six autobiographical volumes of poetry. She was also an actress, songwriter, and historian. She won three Grammy Awards and directed and produced movies. And she was a teacher, a longtime professor at Wake Forest University. If I had taught before I had written books, I might never have written a book. I love to teach. I am a teacher. She brought her poetry to the White House with a reading at Bill Clinton's inauguration. Come, you may stand upon my back and face your distant destiny. And at a Christmas tree lighting for President Bush. We hear a sweetness, a word. In 2011, President Obama awarded her the Medal of Freedom. She has inspired countless others who have known injustice and misfortune in their own lives. Maya Angelou knew both and turned them into lessons of hope. Vanita Nair, CBS News. When Dr. Angelou last visited LSU, she called the university a rainbow in the sky. We'll be right back with more of your weather forecast and we'll check in in Ascension and St. James Parish. Welcome back. You are watching Nine News at Noon. Check out these images coming from Gonzales, the heart of Gonzales at Spartan Stadium. That's what you're seeing right there. That's where the East Ascension Spartans play football, just underwater. Uh, not much to see but, but water right there. And we are hearing reports of up to an 11 and a half inches of rain in Ascension Parish in some parts. On the phone with us right now, Ascension Parish President Tommy Martinez. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? Doing all right. Uh, I imagine there's there's a lot going on with you right now. We're hearing that sandbags are available for folks there in Ascension Parish. Uh, could you kind of go over what people need to do to get in touch with the people providing those sandbags? Right. Uh, we have sandbags uh, around the parish. And, of course, at uh, Lamar Dixon, we have them already uh, put together for them. And if they want to pick them up there. But we also have sand and bags available in the northern sector at Prairieville Fire Department, and also in the Darrow area at the Fire Department there, Fifth Ward, and uh, in Donaldsonville, we have them at the Pavilion. So, and we are going to probably send sand to all the fire departments here. Now we've been forecasting severe weather. We knew this was coming, but a lot of folks are at work today uh, at the plants, uh, people who cross the Sunshine Bridge and, and are kind of stuck today. What would you encourage them to do as they head home from work in the parish? Well, if, if they had work, uh, just be careful when they're driving. And certainly uh, if the street is flooded, uh, I'll try to find an alternate route if possible. Uh, but if you don't have to get on the road, we, we're just going to encourage everyone to stay home. What are the worst parts you're seeing in Ascension Parish? Well, in the Sorrento area early this morning, uh, we had reports of uh, six to eight inches of rain there and several homes that were threatened. Uh, I think we had water that got into one home. And the uh, Prairieville area has been hit pretty hard. And, of course, here in Gonzales, uh, got, we have a lot of water there. Of course, Burnside usually floods when we have uh, heavy rain like that. And, around City Hall and uh, Gonzales, that's closed now, actually. So uh, I would think that. And then in the uh, Donaldsonville area, we have uh, several road closures there, too. So Sick. just all around the parish, there's no no part of a central parish that's been spared. So you're hearing from people who, who have water inside their homes this afternoon. 
Is I didn't that right? hear you. I'm sorry. Are you hearing from people who have water inside their homes this afternoon? Well, I, I'm, I have a bad connection, Lauren. Yep, nope, I, I understand. You know what? Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We'll let you go. I know uh, you and, and law enforcement very busy there in Ascension Parish, but we were hearing reports of that, just trying to get that confirmed there from him. But we have heard reports of water inside homes there in Ascension Parish, and as you heard, no part was spared. Uh, Sorrento being hit the hardest. This is video just in from Ascension Parish of rain falling and the water rising there in Donaldsonville. Uh, he mentioned six to eight inches of rain earlier this morning. That number has definitely gone up, according to our nine storm team, as they watch those gauges. And uh, Diane, it's just uh, it's a very tough situation across mm -hmm. our area, especially for those folks in Ascension and St. James right now, right? Yeah, and, and we were talking about the fact, and uh, Jay is here, and of course uh, Steve Caparata too. You know, checking the rain gauges and saying that possibility they're running a little low. And what we were saying, and what Steve said, that uh, around Ascension Parish in that area, maybe up to 10 to 11 inches of rain. This is a massive amount. And the situation that stands now is that the rain is not going to be coming to an end anytime soon. And as a matter of fact, a flash flood warning was just issued a few moments ago for East Baton Rouge Parish. We'll talk about that and sort it all out for you in just a moment. Stay tuned. This is Diane Deaton from the Nine Storm Team. Well, as we continue to sort out the uh, wet weather, the rain, and all the watches and the warnings and what have you, Titan 9 Doppler radar, it's just all you really have to do is look at it, and it tells the story that the rain is here, the rain continues to train in the same spots, and hence those very heavy rainfall totals. And you can see just uh, to the south of us, this is where uh, that heavy rainfall you're talking, we were talking to Tommy Martinez and uh, Ascension Parish, and really hard hit this morning with a couple of uh, tornado warnings, in effect, as a matter of fact, between Gonzales and Sorrento. So now a flash flood warning is in effect for the metro area and on down to the south. That will be, again, that is a warning in effect until 1.30 this afternoon. And as Jay pointed out, much of our viewing area under a flash flood watch uh, through tomorrow evening and to the east of us, or excuse me, to the west of us, uh, it should be coming to an end or at least a flash flood advisory uh, possibly will be, well, might be canceled. But the parameters could be redefined, though, a little later on this evening. That would be in Acadiana. But right now you see where our ground was just a few moments ago in Donaldsonville, and you can still see the very heavy rainfall. Uh, lightning has been a real issue, as has been the hail and the very heavy rainfall and the winds as well. Uh, Laplace, St. James Parish, and St. Uh, John the Baptist Parishes, you'll notice that that uh, rainfall, not as heavy right now, but obviously throughout uh, Tangi, it is a very serious situation, and it continues to uh, continue to look like there are reports of of hail and even those very strong winds just outside of Killian. We have reports of hail re south of Donaldsonville. Still, there are hail reports. And this is what we're looking at over the past 24 hours. This is the estimated rainfall that we have. So as we start and we just do a little round robin, we start just um, uh, outside of Jennings to the uh, east of Jennings, we are looking at almost or almost 10 inches of rain around Lafayette, 12 inches of rain. This is what is really a significant seven, eight inches of rain here at the Channel 9 Weather Center. We've had, I believe, between four and five inches since it started at midnight. And then right down here in Vashery, look at this one, 13, nearly 13 inches of rain. And again, that's in just a 24 hour period. We were also talking about the uh, fact that we did have reports of uh, possible funnel clouds. There was a possible tornado that has not been confirmed in Edgard. That is this one right here. That was at 530 this morning. Uh, emergency management reported a possible uh, tornado. It did uh, uh, cause some damage, including a blown in firehouse door down trees. And then this one right here, this is the one to the north of that in Garyville. That also occurred during the early hours of the morning. And uh, we now have a pretty, uh, pretty firm confirmation that that was indeed a tornado, an EF1 tornado with winds reported of 105 miles an hour and that was reported near the Marathon oil refinery and again that was in Garyville and right now the National Weather Service is reporting this as an EF1 
one tornado that hit Garyville between uh, 5:30 and uh, 5:30 and 5:45 rather. So this is what to expect. It is just not over yet at all. We have areas of strong thunderstorms, winds, lightning, and hail. All of that combined, uh, even for the rest of the afternoon into the evening, potential for heavy rainfall over the course of the next 24 to 48 hours. And as we mentioned just a moment ago, now uh, much of our immediate area is under a flash flood warning that will be in effect until 1:30 this afternoon. But a flash flood watch is much more extensive into southern Mississippi, and that will be until at least tomorrow afternoon to the evening. This really does tell the tale. This is that water vapor map. This is what Jay was talking about. That uh, that large area, that low pressure area that continues just to spin and to sit on top of us. You can see the copious amounts of moisture in association with that. You can see the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. And as long as that's continuing and as it stalls out, as it's expected to do, we are going to be watching that heavy rainfall over the next few days. We've got a likely tomorrow. It's likely on Friday and even scattered showers now still in the forecast for your Saturday. So this is our extended forecast. This is what we're looking at. And we're going to keep a close eye, obviously, on area rivers as well. There you see, I don't believe we're going to reach 81 degrees, going to uh, more than likely knock that down into the maybe the mid 70s. But the point of it is, is that we do have rain Thursday and Friday, scattered showers Saturday and Sunday, maybe into Monday. So this is a very serious and significant rainfall event around South Louisiana and Southern Mississippi. We'll have much more of Nine News at noon when we come back after this commercial break. Stay tuned. Is a look at that storm system moving through our area. Parts of St. James Parish, Ascension Parish just getting slammed today. About a foot of water in parts of St. James Parish. There's the Matherns store there in Paulina. That's where we had Tiana Williams reporting live earlier for us. And these pictures are being sent in to 9reports.com. We encourage you to do that. That photo there in Lutcher, a car completely submerged in water. You can upload them directly to 9reports.com or you can send them to that email address. But you see these photos really do tell the tale as we've been saying water rising around people's homes inside the store there in St. James Parish. And we've been talking back and forth with the parish president who says there are several different stations with sand and sandbags available like the Grand Point Fire Station. Uh, you can report flooding information there in St. James Parish to flood at stjamesla.com and send those photos to 9reports.com. If you're tweeting, use the hashtag WAFB weather. Diane, this is how we can really gauge what's going exactly. on. These exactly. photos are so powerful. And because you, you always talk about that a picture's worth a thousand words, you can just see it and know what these people are going through. And again, we've had rainfall totals in excess of uh, 10, 11, almost 12 inches in some spots. And, and this is what we're looking at as we continue to watch and, and follow tight nine Doppler radar. You see the heavy rainfall. However, back to the west, it looks like there might be a little dry slot. So that would be very, very encouraging that once this latest round moves on to the east, that we might have a brief reprieve. But as we've been talking, as Steve and Jay have been talking, there's still a lot more to come, unfortunately. And there you can see a little bit of a dry slot back to the west. And again, that uh, flash flood warning in effect for our area until 145. But a watch Lauren still in effect until tomorrow evening at the very least. Okay, Diane, thank you for that update. We do have the St. James Parish president on the phone with us now, Timothy Roussel. I know that you are just hoping and praying for a break this Hello. afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Hi there, sir. Uh, can you hear us? Okay. Hey, hey, Ms. Lauren, you can hear me? I can hear you just fine. Yes. Uh, how are you guys doing over there? I, I know that you've just been slammed with heavy rains. What are you encouraging people to do right now if they have a flooding situation at their home? Ma'am, you were breaking up uh, pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me, uh, but we are bracing for another patch of rain coming through. Uh, we received probably, probably up to 12 inches of rain in the Lutcher Gramercy Paulina areas. 
Yes, sir, and I hope I hope you can hear me. I'll try one more question, but yeah. are there still several stations that you're encouraging people to go to for sandbags or, or for help in the area yeah. right now? Yes, ma'am. We do have, uh, thanks to the help of Ascension Parish, uh, St. Charles Parish, uh, Pontchartrain, Train, and Lafouche Levy District all brought us over sandbags. So we got some sandbag, a sandbag location presently at the Grand Point Fire Station and at the West Bank Maintenance Shop. Okay. All right, sir. Thank you very much. We, I know I know you're do, breaking up We there. do have a shelter open for our medically disabled uh, at the Lutcher High School gym. Uh, we, we have a transit bus uh, trying to assist elderly that need to get out of their homes. We, we, at present, we experience probably 75 homes uh, took in water. 75 more. Wow, we are seeing photos from St. James Parish right now, and I mean, it's, it's heartbreaking to see what your people are going through over there. We do thank you for joining us over the phone. Can you go over that shelter information one more time for us? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's located at the Lutcher High School gym. Uh, we have a transit bus available that to assist the elderly, and of course, any, any medically disabled uh, people, we try to help those also. Uh, and they could call, they could call 562-2200 for that assistance. Okay, thank you so much. And our thoughts are with you and law enforcement in St. James Parish this afternoon. Uh, thank you very much, Timothy Roussel, live on the phone with us. Thank you, Ms. Lauren. Sure. Okay. You heard that number again, 562-2200. If you need to report flooding or request assistance, the Lutcher High School gym is where that shelter is, and they have a transit bus going back and forth helping the medically disabled. Man, you just hate to hear folks going through that today in St. James Parish and over in Assumption Parish. I believe that's where we have Andrew Nomura today. Andrew, can you hear me? Andrew Nomura, can you hear me? Hey, Lauren, this is Andrew. Uh, we are here in the Subsection Parish right now. Uh, let me tell you what is going on. Basically, we have water almost knee deep. You have, but here's the good thing. You have several of the neighbors helping out people, putting sandbags in front of doors, uh, helping people to get along across the street. Uh, I mean, when I tell you the scene is you have a mailbox almost full, I mean, up to water. And you have people... We're putting out their, their furniture, and we have actually a U-Haul right in front of me, a U-Haul where a, a neighbor is put, save, trying to save her furniture. And uh, she and she already told me that she is planning on moving from this area uh, because, I mean, the water is too deep. Uh, it, I mean, their, her house is almost flooded, fully flooded. Uh, you also have, I mean, furniture outside uh, as to, uh, I guess, to distinguish or to let people know how deep the water is out here uh, while they are driving. But, I mean, it is, it is a, uh, for me, it is a terrible sight to see. Um, we, but the good thing is you have neighbors out here uh, really helping people who are in need. Um, so that is what we, we, what we got going on down here in a subject parish well, over here by uh... Bell Rose. Uh, by Bell Thank Rose, okay, that, that's where you are. Andrew Nomura, I know that neighbors always helping neighbors in South Louisiana, but is there anything law enforcement over in Assumption Parish that is encouraging the folks to do there if they need assistance? I think, I think we may have lost him, but we'll continue to, to update that information on WAFB.com. As you can see, we have crews spread out, fanned out across our area. Our nine storm team working very hard, WFB traffic working very hard to bring you the very latest information to keep you and your family safe. We will be right back after this commercial break. Stay with us. Stay connected. Like WAFB on Facebook. Now. Hey, welcome back. You are watching an extended version of Nine News at Noon. Obviously, because of what's going on outside, right. you can keep track of that mm -hmm. indoors with your cell phone, your tablet. It's a very useful device to have right now. And, you now. know, we were talking about it all this morning about using your free uh, Titan 9 Doppler app on your phone because it's so easy to use. You're going to be able to track the storm. If you have any questions, if you're worried about where to go or what to do, you can move it around. It's so very easy, very user-friendly as far as your neighborhoods and what we're 
we're expecting. You notice there might be just a little bit of a dry slot back to the west of us. That would be very nice if we had a little bit of a, of a breather as far as this weather is concerned. Let's go ahead and go very quickly to Max 2 and kind of show you, bring you an update. This is a lot of information for you to digest. This is a lot as far as a flash flood watch, a flash flood warning is concerned. In our immediate area, that warning is in effect until 1.30. Much of our viewing area, the flash flood watch is in effect until tomorrow evening. Then you see over in Acadiana, you see all those arrow arrows. Those were flash flood warnings in effect as well. Now you'll notice, thank you, now you'll notice uh, again that uh, rain, the heaviest rain uh, that Tommy Martinez was talking about uh, that kind of looking at that as far as uh, Ascension Parish is concerned and another round. It looks like there is a lot of rain still heading onto the uh, east. However, back to the west when you take down the watch boxes we're kind of starting to clear out at least temporarily. Now don't let down your guard thinking this is it because you saw that huge dome that large area of low pressure just just kind of that counterclockwise circulation just really sitting on top of us and it's stalling out and as long as it's there and as long as we still have this very unsettled and this very moist atmosphere just primed for more storms we have to keep the potential for heavy rainfall still in our forecast there you see the extent of it you see the green that's the flash flood watches the warnings the red uh, tornado watches incidentally for much of the southern part of our area that does not include metro Metro uh, Baton Rouge, but that does include New Orleans and uh, and parishes to the south. That is a tornado watch in, until 5 o'clock. I may have said tornado warning, so excuse me if I did say that, but a tornado watch in effect until 5 o'clock. So we're still uh, having the potential for the more severe weather before, before this uh, entire system slides onto the east temporarily, but it's not over yet as we know that uh, flash flood watch stays in effect through tomorrow. So anywhere from 7 to 8 to 10 to 12 inches of rain and that was an EF1 tornado that was confirmed earlier this morning right around Garyville at the Marathon oil plant that was confirmed by the National Weather Service so we have had really one heck of a day we really in weather have, so Diane and a heck of a day in traffic Johnny mm -hmm. and as people who did go to work this morning head home those commuting to Ascension Parish in and around St. James Parish that phone is an excellent tool for them to check the traffic cameras yeah Diane showed you the Titan 9 weather app we have the Titan uh, the the uh, news app also has live real-time traffic watch cameras. It's got the map of Baton Rouge with two clicks. It'll point right to it. We'll also give you an update on this little homepage uh, of closures and things like that. So that'll all be here available to you on your smartphone between newscasts. Of course, we'll break in as necessary. Yes, throughout the rest of the afternoon, we are here for you. We will break in when necessary. There is the shelter information on your screen. If you are living in or near St. James Parish for the medically disabled, head to the Lutcher High School gym. There is a bus transit system going. 225-562-2200 and uh, you can update your photos and information to us through 9reports.com. Thanks for watching and we will update as needed throughout the afternoon. Shopping for it?